falls and broken bones. And from broken bones to blemish blunders, studies show we're dealing with more skin care issues than our parents and grandparents ever did. Alex Dennis is back to tell us why we're more prone to breakouts. Yeah, and unfortunately, ladies, if you spend time in this city, you are more prone to the problem. But a few simple changes to your daily routine can truly help protect your skin. Flawless models flood social media. Fact is, in the real world, adults are dealing with blemish blunders more now than in years past. You're supposed to be worrying about wrinkles, and now you're worrying about wrinkles and acne. It's really, it really feels like an injustice. In the latest issue of Shape Magazine, beauty director Kate Sandoval Box explores the reasons for the annoying problem. Starting with a new study by the American Academy of Dermatology that found more than 50% of women in their 20s and a quarter of women in their 30s and 40s report breakouts. Dermatologists I've talked to say it's not just that single pop pimple that pops up every so often, it's really chronic acne that's happening right now. Caused by five top reasons. It's the urban environments where pollution's at its highest that people are having more and more acne. So you're telling me that spending more time in New York City increases the chances of breakouts. The cars alone are creating so much what's called particulate matter in the air, and that particulate matter is so tiny, you can't see it. It's so teeny tiny, but it gets right into your pores every time you're outside walking the street. Another culprit, stress. That stress increases inflammation in our body, which leads to pimples. Think about what you eat and drink. Carb overloading affects skin. Studies show processed foods like white bread and pasta increase insulin levels that in turn causes the production of androgens or hormones that increase oil production. There has long been a link between dairy products and acne. All cow's milk, even organic cow's milk, has hormones in it. Experts suspect those hormones are to blame for unleashing an inflammatory cascade in the body. And for people with chronic acne, consider switching up antibiotics as long-term use of skin-clearing oral meds can cause resistance. So I know the temperatures are changing, you know, they're mm -hmm. dropping, I know we're having some fluctuation, but still urge to put on sunscreen. Not only yeah. does it protect your skin, but it acts like a barrier to really repel any of those particles mm. that may get into your pores. Wow, yeah. okay, that's really good advice. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about a couple of those. Wow. Carb oh. overload, that's yes. what we call that's our, yeah. our Friday potluck. <laughs> I know. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> ay, 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 I didn't know about mm -hmm. the particulate matter. Yep. Makes sense. Well,